watching uh, the Super Bowl one year. I was watching Tom Brady. Maybe you guys heard of this guy? Okay. This dude has seven rings. This dude has seven rings, guys. Seven. Isn't that crazy? You guys can see that? And, and with Tom Brady, like, he hates when people call him the GOAT. GOAT stands for the great, greatest of all time. He hates that. And I wouldn't say he's the GOAT. I would say he's the goal. He's the greatest of all leaders. And that's why Tom Brady's great. His ability to recruit people, to get everyone to go from here to here, is phenomenal. He, he doesn't have the best arm. He has a great arm. He doesn't have the best arm. He's one of the smartest. He's not the smartest. The reason what makes Tom Brady is the ability to bring people together to take people from here to here. And what I love about Tom Brady is not only am I related to him, not close enough to be on his yacht or anything like that, but there's a distant bloodline there. But what I love most about him, okay, is he's humble and he's a great follower. And I believe the greatest leaders are first the greatest followers. And that's something I've really strived to be over the last couple years of my life is focus on how do I be a great follower rather than just trying to be a great leader? Because at some point in time, you have to be able to follow, and that's what Tom Brady's done. He's followed. And because he's followed, he's been able to lead. And I remember watching him when I was in junior high playing the Super Bowl. And when I was younger, I wanted to be a professional athlete. Who wanted to be a professional athlete when they're younger? Why'd you want to be a professional athlete? Influence, income, lots of income, right? Time freedom. How cool would it be to do something, making a lot of money or something you love? So that was my dream, and I practiced really hard at it. But I remember watching him and train, I was like, man, if I can't be a professional athlete, I at least want to do something that I love. 